Hello guys, my name is Jay and uh, thank you for joining me in another of my uh, tutorials. This time I have prepared a so-called triangle gradient logo and uh, it is uh, using the trick I showed you in my previous video uh, where you can assign a, a, a gradient to, to, a, a, to a stroke and uh, yeah, uh, make it look uh, very pretty. Uh, in this video, I I found uh, another use uh, for for this uh, for this uh, uh, technique. Uh, we will begin, as usual, everything uh, with a 100 by 100 pixels uh, circle, and let us just zoom a bit uh, here. And uh, you. We want to make sure that you have your smart guides turned on because uh, when we uh, copy this here we want them to snap so and one more thing uh, uh, we will just uh, jump into outline uh, mode control uh, Y on your keyboard uh, so we can see <coughs> these lines uh, 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 independently of uh, the, the of fill and stroke colors here so uh, when we drag drag this it will snap yeah and uh, we want to make another circle here but uh, for some reason it won't snap in this intersection uh, the center of the circle uh, and to make things more precise uh, I'll just uh, drag a rectangle here and then I will copy this circle to the middle now we can delete uh, this rectangle and uh, now uh, we'll just select everything and go to our shape builder tool hold alt and uh, remove these uh, excess points uh, now you can see that we've uh, that we got a shape uh, similar to this uh, central part here uh, our next step would be to make uh, a circle 50 by 50 and then drag it here make a copy here and here uh, there are many advantages by working with the uh, in the outline mode uh, because uh, if you see uh, in the regular preview mode, uh, uh, some uh, some paths uh, can be hidden, you know. And uh, when you when you go into outline mode, uh, you can you can uh, select everything uh, uh, more easily. We can select these, remove the fill, and uh, assign them uh, a gradient, which uh, we will increase. Uh, you can just type here, uh, I think it's uh, 50 pixels, or you can hold shift and the up arrow a few times to, to get to 50 here. You already see uh, what is what, what this is becoming. And uh, the tip I was talking about uh, earlier, so if you if you are in the regular mode, uh, it, it's very hard to select the triangle uh, below. But if we go into outline mode, we can select this, say Control X, and Control F to paste it in front. So you see, uh, I just made this uh, white. And uh, one more thing, you want to select uh, area of these circles and uh, rotate them so that this uh, that this uh, here uh, line. Uh, comes behind this uh, triangle. Uh, do this for this shape too. Uh, if you can't see, uh, if you can preview uh, your shape, you you, you can uh, do that in the transparency panel here. This one, we can see this one needs uh, 45 degrees uh, shift. Uh. Yeah, the, the trick of this uh, logo, uh, you see that uh, this shape is on top of these two. And uh, uh, the, we, we need him, uh, this side should be uh, on top of this circle, but this, this side should be uh, underneath uh, this one. So, so uh, to, to make this, uh, we will have to uh, make a mask. To do this, 
uh, hit M on your keyboard and uh, in the middle of this uh, start dragging a rectangle so it covers this uh, top circle okay this uh, stroke we don't need this stroke uh, we will delete it and uh, hit D on your keyboard to make uh, the default uh, graphic style uh, show up and then select these two go uh, you can make uh, you can make uh, the mask here uh, make a clipping mask like this Control C Control F and with the direct selection tool uh, select this uh, top mask press V on your keyboard and drag it to the left so now we have this same circle uh, but it, uh, it is made out of two objects and select this object uh, say Control X and Control B to paste it back now just take the shape Control X Control F and uh, this is basically it if we rotate this by the center so to do this select everything press R on your keyboard uh, and click this uh, this center here and just drag upwards now press shift to snap and uh, this is it uh, the logo I have made here is uh, the same one uh, down here you can you can always uh, change these these uh, colors for example not the fill color I make mistakes too and make this green and yeah it, this looks very pretty uh, thank you guys for watching uh, I hope you will uh, join me uh, next time I also hope that you will uh, support me I know you will uh, so uh, see you next time bye bye